Thanks, thanks guys for having me. Um, yeah, so Dan Reeser, I'm, um, I'm from the US, currently live in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Um, so it's a little early this morning, but I had my coffee, so we should be good to go. Um, I'm working now for Akala. So Akala is a, um, building a DeFi platform on Polkadot, and I'll explain more about that in my presentation. Um, prior to Akala, I was on uh, working on Polkadot and Kusama when I was at the Web3 Foundation. Um, yeah, so looking forward to, to talking to you guys about this and answering any questions you have. Um, okay, so I apologize in advance if I, I'm going to go fairly quickly through the first part because I'm going to be basically setting up like what is po Polkadot. I'll remind you guys from your presentation with Bill. Um, and then I'll, I'll spend a little bit more time on Akala specifically and getting into that. Um, I also, let me share my screen. I might look over here slightly because you guys are on my other monitor. Can you see everything here? Intro to Akala. Sweet. Okay. So what I'm gonna start with is like, why are we even doing this? Why crypto, why is decentralized finance an important um, topic? And it really boils down to a couple things at the highest level. So many of us in um, countries that have kind of flourishing economies, um, I'm from the US, so I, I've been spoiled my whole life being able to use and earn something as stable and adopted as the US dollar. But we all know that there's millions of people who don't have that luxury um, and have difficulty like places like where I am now in Brazil, where the, the Brazilian real is, is very low in value in comparison to other currencies like the euro and, and the dollar. So it's more difficult in places like that to actually access the financial system. So what we're building is a open and decentralized financial system that anyone even without an identity will be able to tap into and participate in and, and um, get access to the financial system. Um, and this, the current DeFi landscape um, is growing extremely rapidly, as I'm sure you know. Um, there's several categories of decentralized finance um, use cases right now, including things like, um, so Compound, MakerDAO, I know I'm sure you've heard of in the money market space where you can lend and borrow in a decentralized manner. There's of course stable coins, which are building something that allow um, traders and even people, um, an example in Latin America, there's a company called, a project called Value, um, and they're helping people in, from Venezuela who live in Colombia actually send money home to, from Colombia to Venezuela um, using a stable coin and using the Value platform, which is, which is built on Substrate. Um, so an interesting use case for kind of early example of how stable coins are actually being used in the real world. And I've included some examples here of current DeFi applications just to set the, the kind of um, the landscape here before I move into Akala. So this is, um, if you've been watching the markets, this is clearly not from today. This is from about like four or five days ago. Um, we've had an interesting day the last, the last 24 hours, but things are still moving in the right direction. This is actually a chart um, showing the last, what is that, four or five years. And this summer of uh, 2020 was what people kind of referred to as DeFi summer, where everything kind of took off. And now we're up in the 50s of billions of dollars locked within these DeFi protocols, most notably Compound, which is a money market for lending and borrowing. This is what Compound looks like if you actually go to their UI. Um, these interest rates are, are quite interesting and uh, worth kind of a, an entire research project at, at the university because they're, they're, they're not interest rates that are seen in the traditional world. And when you show this to somebody who's in banking or in, at a hedge fund today, they'll, they'll immediately start asking you lots of questions. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see how these interest rates play out as more and more people get into DeFi. Um, so stable coins, don't need to spend too much time on this. This is value who I mentioned, um, doing some pretty cool things, probably worth Googling them. Um, there are four different types of stable coins. Akala is building a crypto backed stable coin, similar to DAI um, from Maker. Um, you've got USDC from, uh, that Coinbase is working with and several other um, approaches to how to build a stable coin. Uniswap, many of you I'm sure know, um, basic swaps. Um, it's an automated market maker decentralized exchange. 
Um, and this is also one of the biggest use cases within DeFi right now. Um, the last example I'm going to cover is derivatives. So you have Synthetics, who is building synthetic assets to real world um, assets. So here's an example of, a, of an exchange who is using Synthetics on the back end to provide um, oil futures, for example, for oil traders without needing to use the, the centralized financial system. But it, to me, it's really impressive what Ethereum has been able to do thus far on one, um, one isolated blockchain that really can't scale. Um, you've got Bitcoin who has done digital gold very well, this like store of value use case. And then you've got, um, now you have substrate based blockchains built in the Polkadot ecosystem and Kusama ecosystem to build a single custom blockchain for a specific use case. Um, and this leads me into what Polkadot is. One thing that I think is a, a pretty, seems like a well-kept secret is that the guy who invented the Ethereum virtual machine, he invented the Solidity programming language, actually left and built Polkadot and invented a new um, blockchain building framework called the Substrate. So if, if that's an indication of where things are headed, um, I think it's a pretty, pretty good trend to watch. So just following Gavin, to be honest, there's a lot of people who are building their careers around Gavin's choices. Um, this is revisiting Polkadot. So you've got this whole kind of multi-chain network of all of these individual customized blockchains. The Kala that I'll walk you through is an example. So this will be one of these little gray squares here that's plugging into this network of Polkadot. Um, in order to get security from the existing Polkadot network of validators that are helping run the network, and then also um, the ability to send assets and data from, from one chain to another in one kind of unified ecosystem. In addition to having cross-chain abilities within Polkadot, there's also bridges being built to existing networks like Ethereum. Um, there's, there's several bridges being built to Bitcoin and all of this liquidity from these existing networks will be able to flow to and from Polkadot once we launch. So I think I've got like maybe eight minutes or so. So I'm gonna go into Akala <clears throat> at this point. So this is our founding team. Um, we're all over the world. I said, I'm in Sao Paulo. We've got a teammate, a couple of people in the US. Um, primarily uh, these guys on the screen are all based in um, Auckland, New Zealand, which is interesting for me. They start their work day at 6 p.m. my time. So I've had some late nights recently, but it's, this team is, phenomenal. Um, we've got Rui Tao and Betty who are both kind of product and engineering minds um, who, who help us more on the business and kind of high level product side. And then you've got Brian down here who's our CTO and he's actually a contributor to the Substrate and Polkadot code itself in addition to Akala. And then Fu Yao is based in um, Shanghai, China and running the Polka Wallet team, which is one of the um, leading wallets in the ecosystem. But one thing to understand about Akala is that we're actually building in kind of a, um, I guess in a category that I personally haven't seen. And then I, I would love to know if there are other examples of this, but we're building a blockchain platform. So the equivalent to an Ethereum at layer one. And then we've also built out an entire suite of applications on our blockchain. So you can compare this to somebody like imagine Ethereum launching with Uniswap compounded maker already built in. So you've got the blockchain and you've got the applications. So this is what that actually looks like. Um, you've got Polkadot that I walked you through. This is the meta protocol or layer zero connecting these blockchains. And then we come in at this layer. So we're building this DeFi optimized blockchain with all of these components built in. So I'll get into these in a second. And then we've also built out an entire um, application layer. So you can um, borrow with our stable coin, do swaps similar to Uniswap that I showed, um, and then earn, earn using the stable coin that, that, we've, that I've showed you similar to something you've seen with like Compound or, or Maker. Um, our, our three core products are what I just mentioned. So the Akala dollar, the stable coin that you can think of similar to DAI, um, this will kind of serve the whole Polkadot ecosystem to provide a stable coin. 
Um, we've got liquid dot staking. Um, this is getting a little bit more into the weeds, but if any of you know about dot staking, you, you can basically earn a return on by holding dots, but those dots become locked and, and essentially can't use them for anything. Um, liquid dot we're really excited about because it will allow people to stake their dot and actually get a L dot like receipt token. And that can actually be used out in DeFi while the underlying dot is staked and earning returns. Um, the third thing is an AML, AMM style DEX similar to Uniswap that I showed. And then um, a decentralized sovereign wealth fund, which is basically like an on-chain treasury, uh, basically a pot of funds that can be, that is owned and governed by the ACA token holders. Um, don't need to go into this because I already talked through Polkadot. Um, so it'll be fun, I think, for you guys after this. I've got a, I'm showing the link on the last slide, but these are all live applications on our testnet. We're, we're just waiting for Polkadot to open up the slots on the network so that we can launch. But all this stuff is built and ready to go, and you can actually go and get testnet tokens and, and start using these different applications. So this is the borrowing and lending protocol that I mentioned. Um, the stablecoin is backed by things like DOT and Bitcoin and potentially Ethereum soon. Um, like I said, this is similar to a, a DAI situation. Um, these, this AUSD and the ACA token and any other token for that matter can be used to pay gas on Akala. This is an interesting um, kind of change versus what we're seeing on Ethereum today where to go and use DeFi, you're actually forced to go find Ethereum or ETH. Um, to participate in the system. With Akala, we actually allow people to come with any token they have. Maybe they bring Bitcoin from the Bitcoin network and they can immediately pay um, gas fees with Bitcoin. This is what I mentioned with Liquid Dot. So we've got this, um, if you go to um, the staking section of our apps, you can basically stake your dot here. And then when you stake, you get this L dot in return and you can go and use the L dot to, for example, take a loan out of the AUSD stablecoin that I just showed on the last slide. Um, and then swaps, this is the basically like a Uniswap type setup that will be live on Akala as well. Um, I don't need to go through all of these. This is, I'll just leave it up for a second. This, this is the all the different use cases of the ACA token itself within the network. Um, some of our backers, we just announced Coinbase Ventures, Polychain, Pantera, kind of the whole slew of them. And this is what I'll probably end with. So if you want to either maybe take a screenshot or write these down, this is where you can um, get testnet tokens, which you have to have in order to use the app since it's all on testnet. This will basically top up all of your balances of things like Bitcoin, DOT, ACA, and you can go then to apps.akala.network and actually go in and use this. So it's pretty fun to actually see, like we can talk about Polkadot all day, but no one will actually use Polkadot. Like everyone will be using the applications and parachains that are built on Polkadot. So this will give you kind of maybe one of your first chances to actually use something that will be live within the Polkadot ecosystem. Um, yeah, that's it. So. Here's, if you want to follow any of our social channels, we've got this link tree set up with basically every channel you can possibly follow.